Hi everyone, today we have a short story to read. Today's story is called Founding Fathers. Founding Fathers, yeah, definitely a worthy American story today for sure. Yeah, so the Founding Fathers were basically a nickname given to the early leaders of America. So these are the people who decided to put the country ahead of their own business needs, their own uh, their own interests, and to make sure we have a, a great country uh, to start off with. So we're very thankful for them. Yeah, chapter one, Founding Fathers. And it's about George Washington, the father of our country, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, and Ben Franklin. Some great uh, historical paintings as well, as you, as you look at the page here. Very uh, traditional and historic. Here's Washington crossing the Delaware in the, in the middle of the night on his way to a battle. The Founding Fathers is a nickname for the early leaders of America. The founders declared independence and fought in the Revolutionary War. Then they wrote the Constitution, which are the country's main rules. Some founders became presidents and state lawmakers. The founding fathers were patriots who believed in freedom and equality. Some, were found, found, some founders were farmers, merchants, and lawyers. There were many people who were, who were founding fathers. Some experts think these seven founders were the most important. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, Ben Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, John Jay, and James Madison. George Washington, 1732 to 1799, was a founding father, leader of the Revolutionary War, and first president of the United States. He also was the president of the Constitutional Convention. He is called the father of his country. During the revolution, he spent eight years leading the American army. He only spent 10 days at, at his home during these eight years. Wow. He retired after two terms as president in 1797. Washington returned to his plantation at Mount Vernon. There, he lived a peaceful country life. He and his wife, Martha, are buried at Mount Vernon. Washington put his country's needs first. He set a proper example for all leaders. He had the wisdom to give up power and allow others a chance to lead. Washington was described as first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of, country, of his countrymen. Yeah, that's where he's buried. He buried on his, on his uh, plantation farm. John Adams, 1735 to 1826, was a lawyer and founding father. He was the second president of the United States. John Adams' cousin, Samuel Adams, was also a founding father. Adams was a big supporter of the Declaration of Independence. Adams believed that everyone deserves a fair trial. He helped Thomas Jefferson write the Declaration in 1776. Then he persuaded colonies to vote for it. Adams helped negotiate the peace treaty with Great Britain to end the revolution. Next, he got important government loans for America. Adams is often called the father of the American Navy. He was the first president to live in the White House. Yeah, kind of look at that house, an old-fashioned house. That's where he was born. Thomas Jefferson, 1743 to 1826, was a founding father and the main author of the Declaration of Independence. He was the third president of the United States. Jefferson was also an inventor, archaeologist, farmer, land and slave owner. He helped America buy the Louisiana Purchase. This doubled the size of the country. Next, he sent Lewis and Clark to explore the new land. The goal was to build a country from coast to coast. Jefferson liked to learn. He st studied surveying, math, plants, and mechanics. He invented many small devices and improved inventions. One invention was a revolving bookstand. 
Then he made a great clock powered by the weight of cannonballs. He improved the polygraph, a device for duplicating writing. Jefferson is credited as the inventor of the swivel chair. He used the chair to write the Declaration of Independence. Thomas could speak, read, and write a number of languages, including French, Greek, Italian, and German. On July 4, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, both Jefferson and John Adams died a few hours apart. Yeah, that's probably the biggest coincidence you'll ever find. Two of the founding fathers dying on the same day, the 50th anniversary of the declaration that they helped write. Yeah. Benjamin Franklin, 1706 to 1790, was an American patriot and scientist. He has been called the first American. Franklin helped make the 13 colonies one nation. He attended the major meetings for making a new country. He persuaded France to join the revolution against Great Britain. Franklin loved books and reading. At age 21, he established the first American public library. He was a successful printer, publisher, and writer. Franklin was also an inventor. For example, he invented the lightning rod, bifocals, the Franklin stove, and the glass harmonica. Franklin's face is on the one, the American $100 bill. Yeah, there's Ben Franklin. So he was never our president, but he really helped uh, get the country going. Excellent uh, people, for sure. All right, we'll stop there for today, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day, everyone.